How do I access and change the settings on my Verizon router? In this video, we will guide you through the process of accessing and changing the settings on your Verizon router. Follow the steps below to manage your router settings easily and efficiently. What do I need to access my Verizon router settings? To access your router settings, you will need 1. A device connected to your Verizon router, a computer, smartphone, or tablet. 2. Your router's default IP address, which is usually printed on the router itself or can be found in the documentation. For most Verizon routers, the default IP address is 192.168.1.1. 3. The default username and password for your router, which is usually printed on the router, provided in the documentation, or can be found on the Verizon website. How do I access my router settings? Follow these steps to access your router settings. 1. Open a web browser on a device connected to your Verizon router. 2. Type the router's IP address, usually 192.168.1.1, in the address bar and press enter 3. enter the default username and password when prompted the default credentials for most verizon routers are admin for the username and password for the password some routers may use a different default password such as the router's serial number 4. you are now logged in to your verizon router settings interface how do i change my router settings once you've logged into your router settings, you can make changes to various options. Here are some common settings you might want to modify. 1. Change the Wi-Fi network name, SSID, and password. Look for the Wireless or Wi-Fi settings and change the network name, SSID, and password to your desired values. Save the changes and your devices will need to reconnect using the new credentials. 2. Enable or disable guest Wi-Fi. If your router supports guest Wi-Fi, find the guest network settings and enable or disable it as desired. This feature allows visitors to access the internet without providing access to your primary network. 3. Change your router's admin password. To improve security, change the default admin password for your router. Look for the administrator or system settings and modify the password. Make sure to write it down or store it securely, as you will need it to access the router settings in the future. 4. Update the router firmware. Ensure your router is running the latest firmware by checking for updates in the firmware update or system settings. Updating your router's firmware can improve performance and security. 5. Enable or disable parental controls. If your router has parental control features, find the parental controls settings to enable or disable them. This feature allows you to restrict internet access for specific devices or set schedules for internet usage. Now that you know how to access and change the settings on your Verizon router, you can easily manage your home network to suit your needs. Remember to always keep your router firmware up to date and use strong, unique passwords for both your Wi-Fi network and router admin access to maintain a secure and reliable connection.